Everyone recognizes <clears throat> Porsche as the creator of fast luxury cars that keep pushing the boundaries of performance no matter how. But how many people are aware of this company's origins and how closely linked it is to Volkswagen? This is your chance to learn that Dr. Ferdinand Porsche, a product designer, was born as the third of five children in Mofersdorf. <clears throat> Anton Porsche, his father, was a modest owner of a humble plumber workshop. On September 3rd, 1875, he was born. Ferdinand was expected, as it was common practice in German-Austrian society, to inherit the family company with his brothers, but he had other desires. Somewhere at the age of 14, he had already been exploring with electricity, which used to be popular in the late 19th century. His dad, in contrast, was dissatisfied and disapproved of this. As a consequence, Ferdinand set up his own hidden workshop in his parents' place letting him easily explore. You're watching the YouTube channel Big Company Business. In today's video, we will discuss Porsche's business success. Even after being pushed to do an apprenticeship in plumbing, he attended the state trade school in Reichenberg, and he started to work for the electrical corporation Bella Ardorenko in Vienna in 1893. Because of his skills and technical background, he was promoted from an electrician <laughs> to test center manager in a matter of years. From that point forward, his career began to unfold. In 1897, he invented an electric wheel hub motor. Ferdinand Porsche began working in the newly formed electric car division at Kukovbargen Fabrik Kovevienna and Jacob Lunda the same year. Porsche experienced a watershed moment in 1897. The Lola mm. Porsche would reflect his work. A non-transmission car powered by a Porsche wheel hub motor was regarded as a game changer at the Paris World Trade Fair. He was more than just an engineer though, and he was always searching for new and different ways to test his vehicles. Yes, Porsche mm. used racing in 1900 to skillfully test his innovations. He mm. won the simmering racetrack outside Vienna, for example. In 1902, mm. he was also a driver for Archduke Franz Ferdinand's racing team. After eight years at Landa, Porsche was hired as a technical manager by Daimler in Novena in 1906. He kept going racing as he had won the Prince Heinrich race, which was well known at the time in 1910, steering a Daimler automobile, which he created himself. This was an annual long distance test for touring cars with new routes each year. That year it was 1,495 kilometers long and ran from Berlin to Bad Hamburg, passing through Castle Wurzburg, Martinburg, Bruchvig, Strasbourg, and Trier. Ferdinand Porsche's distinct aerodynamic tulip-shaped vehicle made top speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour on the track. In 1917, he was appointed general manager of Austro Daimler, and not long after, the Sasha won first and second place in their class of the Tiger Florio event in Sicily upon its release in 1922. The success was shouted out on an article from the Italian newspaper Gazzetta dello Sport. No one could have imagined achieving these top speeds and reliably with a four-cylinder engine that belongs to the class of smallest cars ever. Possibly influenced by Sasha's success, he would relocate Daimler Motor and Gelschaft to Stuttgart. He was promoted to technical manager and member of the executive board the following year. The following year, this became Daimler's main branch in Germany, and he was immediately put to work in command of improving the Mercedes-Benz automobile. Mercedes-Benz SS and SSK compressor designs became associated with sportiness and motorsport success. The Stuttgart Institute of Technology conferred the honorary title of doctor on Ferdinand Porsche. After a brief stint at the renowned firearms manufacturer Steya Burke, he launched his own business in 1931. Ferdinand Porsche established his own independent design office on April 25, 1931, that was certified in the commercial register as Porsche Design. In 1932, the Auto Union Commission asked Porsche to build a 16-cylinder compressor Grand Prix sports car for the new 750 kilo rules. Porsche won 32 of the 64 races, with drivers like Hans Stoch and Bernd Rosmeier establishing numerous world records along the way. Soon after, he returned his gaze to Sasha and considered purchasing a small car for daily use. He wanted to create a high-quality vehicle that could be used every day. It wasn't just a smaller version of his current ones. On June 24, 1934, the Porsche Design Office and the Reichenward Automobile Industry, the umbrella organization for the German automobile industry, signed a contract. Volkswagen might have been translated into a people's automobile at the time. 
The foundations for the Volkswagen facility was laid in 1938. During this time, Ferdinand Porsche was one of Volkswagen's managers. The Second World War burst out just as manufacturing was about to begin, leaving only a few public use examples for official use. The Volkswagen was also used in the development of the first all-terrain or amphibious vehicle. Nonetheless, the Volkswagen was recognized for its accomplishment. Others all over the world would soon realize the construction department worked on projects such as the Mouse Heavy Tank and the alternate version of the Tiger Tank that was never officially adopted, as well as wind generators. Ferdinand Porsche was captured by the French at the end of 1945 and imprisoned for 22 months for his indirect role in arming the German war machine. He was targeted after no evidence of his involvement in war crimes, specifically the Holocaust was discovered. When he returned, he was fired. He researched the design for the racing car Casitalia, which was created under the supervision of his son, Ferry. He was reportedly proud of his son's creation and stated that he would have built it the same way, down to the last screw. Dr. Ferdinand Porsche died of natural causes at the age of 75 in Stuttgart in 1951. Some people might be shocked to hear that Porsche, as we know it today, was founded after his death. Ferry Porsche, together with his sister Louise Pisch, who married Anton Pisch, a top Volkswagen executive, produced the first Porsche car brand in Kaumund, Austria. This vehicle was the renowned Porsche 356. The first prototypes of what would be the 356 were created at a small sawmill. The prototype car was shown to German dealerships, and when pre-orders achieved a certain threshold, the reformed Porsche began production with an aluminum body. The 356 is generally regarded as the first Porsche, as it was the company's first model to be sold due to parts shortages in post-war Germany. Parts from the Volkswagen Beetle were used in the 356 car, most particularly the engine case from the internal combustion engine transmission and various suspension components. However, the 356 went through several stages of evolution while in production, with the majority of parts sourced from Volkswagen. Nevertheless, the Porsche 911, a name that would immortalize Porsche as the producer of excellence in pure driving performance, was deemed a modest success in 1964. It was another rear-engined, air-cooled sports automobile similar to the 356, but with a six-cylinder boxer engine, regarding a degree of reasonable success in racing with several models, including the 550 Spider, which would also fame as James Dean's car. The team that designed the body shell was led by the ominous Ferdinand Alexander Porsche. The 911's iconic status is easy to understand with countless motorsport victories, but it was Ferry Porsche who best summed up the car. The 911 is the single car you could drive on an African safari, to the movies, or through New York City traffic. As a matter of fact, the 911 has only gotten better as time has passed, eventually serving the Boxer and the Cayman as a respectable supporting model. Porsche increased deliveries to across the board in all of its global sales as recently as 2021. In total, 70,025 customers in the United States acquired a model from the extensive product line, while Porsche delivered 84,657 vehicles in the United States, a 22% increase. With a strong overall performance in 2021, China remains the largest single market for the sports car manufacturers. Germany's home market has also seen an increase in demand, with 28,565 vehicles delivered, implying a 9% increase in Europe. Clients received 86,160 vehicles, a 7% increase over the previous year. Ferdinand Porsche's emphasis on doing the best with the latest technologies available is still evident in the company. Porsche was one of the few high-performance brands willing to take on a challenge, promising to develop an electric vehicle that could directly compete with a Tesla Model S that resulted in the Porsche Taycan. The manufacturer, with its origins still in sports, is praised for making high-performance models that are loved by all. 70% of all Porsches produced are still in use, demonstrating the strong bonds that Porsche owners make with their vehicles. Ferdinand Porsche would be extremely happy. That's all for today's video. Which Porsche model do you love the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Big Company Business will be back next week. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.